What's going on everyone? Candid Clarinetus here coming at you with another video. Today we are going to find out what is in my bag. So first things first, I have the Lomax Humid Pro case. It's a really sturdy case. I really enjoy it. Only downside to it is it's a little heavy, but one thing that it really does is locks in all of the humidity and all the moisture. So I don't ever have to worry about my clarinets cracking or doing anything weird because the case keeps everything nice and sealed inside, which is awesome. The other benefit to this case is it actually has a heater in it. So during the winter time, I can plug it in and it slowly warms my clarinets up to temperature. So when I walk from my car to the orchestra, it doesn't get too cold. Highly recommend the Lomax case. You can find it on their website. I'll put a link in the description below. Now, first things first, we're gonna reach in this top compartment and see what we have in here. So I have some repair supplies just in case things go wrong. You never know exactly what's gonna happen, but um, I always make sure to keep some supplies just in case of an emergency situation. So a pair of tweezers. These are very important to have just in case, you know, something gets stuck in your instrument. Sometimes you get a piece of cigarette paper stuck in one of the tone holes. So always make sure to have a piece of tweezers so you can get something out if you need to. Also have a small pair of scissors. And then the three things that I use for emergency repairs are dental floss, believe it or not. And then I use this plumber's tape. Both the dental floss and the plumber's tape help with corks. If your corks shrink or your corks aren't sealing, really useful things to have in case your corks aren't sealing for you or in the case of the winter time, the corks tend to shrink, and so you need to build up those corks in order to have all your joints get together correctly. And then the last thing I have here is a roll of medical tape, and I use this for doing work on my tone holes. If I wanna raise or lower the pitch of a certain 12th, I put a little piece of this in the tone holes. So all these are little repair supplies that I sort of keep handy just in case something happens. Now, the next thing I have in my case are two pairs of screwdrivers. Obviously, we have a bigger one and a littler one. Screwdrivers, screws come loose all the time. And uh, yeah, screwdrivers, always important to have a couple of these on hand. The next thing we're gonna find in my case are Pens and pencils, always important. I always keep two pencils so that I don't ever not have one. And then I have a pen for just taking notes or if I need to write something, it's useful to have a pen. I always make sure to carry some key oil with me as well as some extra cork grease. I have another thing of cork grease inside the case, but key oil, cork grease, really important. Make sure your corks are going on nice and smooth and you're not ripping them up. Key oil, keys get stuck all the time. Nice to have it on hand, just in case you or your colleagues might need it. And the last thing I'm gonna show you that I have in my case is, of course, my backup mouthpiece. So I've got my backup BD5 mouthpiece. It's just as good, if not better, than my main mouthpiece, so you never know what's gonna happen. I have yet to drop a mouthpiece and break a mouthpiece, knock on wood, but in case I do, I got a nice backup ready to go. And of course, I got some backup ligatures as well. I've had ligatures snap or stretch out or the screws come undone. So always make sure that I have a couple of backup ligatures to use in case my main one doesn't work. So moving on now into the top compartment of my case. So obviously the main thing that I have in here is my bag of reeds. I just use a nice simple Ziploc bag. This one probably needs to be replaced. It's looking a little experienced, but I have... Ten boxes of reeds. Sure, it might seem a little excessive, but these reeds are all different versions of wear. We have new reeds, we have older reeds, so I always make sure I have a copious amount of reeds on hand just in case of the weather conditions or whatever it might be for the day. I need to make sure I always have working reeds. I always have reeds in my playing rotation. I always have reeds that I'm breaking in, so uh, I use three different kinds of cases. So I have the Daddario, little colored ones here. Got the green, red, purple, and blue. Uh, these are nice, they have the nice grooves in them. And uh, nice cases here. And then I also have these blue Van Dorn cases that I use. I'll put links in the description to all of these reed cases so you can check them out. And then the other one that I carry around is the Daddario. Um, these hold eight reeds. These are also great for bass clarinet reeds. It's a little bit bigger, so they can fit bass clarinet reeds. 
And then I have a Protec case for my E-flat clarinet reeds, and these I haven't used in a while because I haven't had to play E-flat clarinet, but I always make sure I have my E-flat clarinet reeds on hand so I know where they are in case I do need to use them. Another thing that I have in the top of my case is a window, and a lot of you might not have heard of the window before, but the window is a little device that I use, and it helps me to warm up. I use it in the airport. It's a little mobile device, and it's basically an embouchure strengthener. So if I ever get in a situation where I can't practice or there's a limited amount of practice time, I always spend some time on the window. Uh, I might do a video on this later because it's a really, really useful device, but basically it helps strengthen your embouchure. The window, highly recommend this. It's never leaving my case ever. Um, I'll put a link in the description to this. A couple more things that I have in the main compartment. I have some floral tape, which I'll take out of here. And the floral tape I use for, uh, I sort of wrap it up and put it on my lower teeth so I don't get any bite marks on my lower lip. Really useful stuff. It's like three bucks at a Hobby Lobby. So go get yourself a roll of floral tape. Really, really useful. I've got a backup mask just in case. Always nice to have a mask on me. And then I have my neck strap. I've always had some issues with my right hand. I don't typically play with a neck strap, but if I'm standing uh, while playing or playing for a long period of time or my hands feeling a little fatigued, I try to you know, keep the neck strap on hand just in case I need to use it. And last but not least, probably the favorite thing that I have in my case, my uh, wife made this for me. It's a little card. Um, it has some stickers on it, and she made it for me when I was going through a tough time with an audition. And it basically just is words of encouragement. So I've, I've kept this in my, my case. Um, it's a nice reminder of, of why I do what I do, and I, I just love having it. It always makes me smile every time I see it. So um, always nice to have little pictures or mementos or things to sort of keep you smiling. I know it can be a grind being a musician, so. It's always good to have something like this. And last but not least, we are going to move on to the main compartment of the case. Got this nice double locking mechanism here, so our clarinets aren't gonna go spilling out all over the street. And right now, what I'm playing on is I have my Buffet Tradition clarinet. I'll put a link to the video. I did a review on this instrument, so I've got my Buffet Tradition clarinet in here. And I've got my Buffet Tosca A clarinet, which is the A clarinet that I'm currently using while I wait until I get a Tradition A clarinet. Uh, the only other thing I have in here that's useful to know is I've got my BB-5 mouthpiece right here, Van Doren leather ligature with the metal plate. That's the, my ligature of choice currently. It's the flavor of the day, as a formal colleague would say. And then I have my two barrels that I'm using. I use a 913 series Van Doren mouthpiece, so I need a little bit longer barrel to sort of compensate for the sharpness and the American pitch. So I have a 66 millimeter Hadash barrel for my A clarinet, and I've got a 67 millimeter Hadash barrel for my B flat clarinet. And these uh, work really well with, with the instruments that I have. And all the other things of note is I have another tube of cork grease. Again, making sure my corks are all nice and lubricated when I'm putting my instrument together. And of course my swab, I've got this Van Doren red swab. Now the only downside to this one is pretty much everyone has this swab, so make sure you keep track of whose is whose and you should be good to go. So that's what's in my bag. If you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure to like, subscribe, and share. I'd love to get this to as many people as possible. We're making a big push for 1,000 subscribers on our YouTube channel. Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate all the encouraging words that I've had over this last year and a half doing the Candid Clarinetist. Let me know in the comments, is there anything that you would like to see on this channel? Reviews? vlogs, let me know. I'd love to hear from you. Until next time, happy practicing.